Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from JazzleDazzleCrafts.com Another card today I'm going to share with you. Again, as you know, or most of you already know, I'm struggling with a cold this week. So I'm afraid my imagination and my ideas are slow in coming. So I have been trolling Pinterest for a bit of inspiration. And today's card is strongly inspired by Carol Arneson of carolarneson.stampinup.net I'm not quite sure when in the world Carol Arneson is working and I don't really know how well obviously she did this from uh, between the beginning of June last year and now because it's made with the coffee break suite so I'm using the coffee break stamp set um, excuse me, I'm going to have to blow my nose. This is it's so frustrating. Colds are so stupid things. Oh, sorry about this. I'm going away from the camera. Okay. So hopefully we'll get through the film without any more of that. So basically... It's not just Carol that's done this style of card. I've seen quite a few people, so I don't know if she cased it from someone else or everyone else that I'm seeing cased it from her. But certainly, I've seen hers on Pinterest, and it's that's the one that I'm using today. So, what the basically it's to show you a watercolor resist card. So, the technique I'm going to show you. But I've got, I have already stamped and I cut out some bits and pieces to embellish it with. But I'm going to start off with the technique. I'm putting the stamp box aside and I'm going to do this on Whisper White. I've also got a piece of vellum here that I need to stamp on as and um, do white embossing I'm going to do on them. So first of all, I have cut a piece of a whisper white which is going to be part of the card that's the main background on the card and I'll use my buddy on my vellum I might do I'll just do the vellum one first quickly so I'm going to use my Versamark ink and white embossing powder I think I'm going to treat myself to a new um Versamark stamping pad this one's getting quite marked anyway can you see okay Shout if you can't see. <laughs> That's not going to work, is it? Okay, so I'm going to stamp this down onto my vellum. I'm going to have to work quite quickly because I don't want this to dry. So that's that onto the vellum and that's the lid of one of the coffee cups. Just pop that over there just for a second and then I'm going to ink up. The happiness is a cup of coffee with a friend um, is the main stamp in this it's all it's it is kind of it's stained from what I've used it for already but I'm just going to repeatedly stamp this but I'm going to start in the middle with one I'm going to cover it over with white it is a bit stained pink and it is that is showing up um, but it should be okay because I'm going to cover it with the white powder. But a tinge of pink wouldn't upset me too much. Would it upset you? Probably not. Except that the main theme in this card, colour theme in this card is Marina Mist. My favourite. <laughs> it is coming out quite pink. Obviously the stain on this card is... staying put and it's quite good because it's helping me to be able to see where I've been one there one there maybe need just a tiny bit the bottom my friend there okay so that 
this damp is going to go through to the kitchen sink, get a proper wash and some soapy, just some gentle dish soap. You know the one that, with the song, Hands That Drew Dishes. Okay, so I've stamped all over that. You shouldn't be able to see that, but because my stamp is stained, you're seeing that despite my best efforts to clean it with. Right, I do have a stamping scrub, I just didn't use it. Well, more filmy. Okay, so we have these two pieces to cover with white embossing powder. I'm still using up some white embossing powder that I had before I started stamping up, but I do intend to get the stamping up one very soon. You can't get everything at once. But I believe that the, sta the white stamping up powder is actually finer than this, so you would get even better results with it. I think I'm still going to have that pink tinge on this, but I'm okay with that. That's not a problem. Pop that to the side. And the vellum is for... it's so that it can look a bit like the top of one of those iced coffees that you can buy. So I'm just going to put this back in the tub. Kind of decided that this week I'm actually going to order up all the stamping up embossing powders. The silver, gold, copper, white and clear. Because I have seen my colleagues work and it is finer than some of the ones that I already own and then I can just give give mine away to a wee group of craft ladies that I know that uh, are all retired ladies so they're all working on tight bu budgets mind you so am I right heat tool if you have sensitive hearing, then turn your sound volume down now because I'm going to switch it on now. of this you're seeing because white on white is not, not the easiest to see. Just a bit concerned that I might be scorching the paper a wee bit by going a bit too close. Stop it. 
sound up again of course I've warped all the paper underneath I'm going to take that off because it's just going to drive me crazy I've got enough things driving me crazy at the moment I'll save that for um, more heat embossing a scrap paper I need to get some kind of heat resist mat. right okay I don't know how well you can see that but what I'm going to do now is, now what I've got here is an old wink of Stella and I, it's still got loads of sparkle inside it so I topped it up a bit with a little bit of vodka and a little bit of water I mean you can buy rubbing alcohol and things like that <laughs> but I didn't have any so I just put a wee bit of alcohol in there excuse me for drinking water. I'm just going to give you a quick look. I'm drinking tons of hot orange so I've got my coaster beside me so I can keep my drink beside me. And this is a lovely swap that I was given by one of my Stampin' Up! colleagues last year. Um, Debbie, Debsy Daisy Crafts. Um, I think our she may have updated her blog but I'm pretty sure it's debsydaisy.com but um, look what she did with the daisy paper and made this beautiful little coaster it's so simple, so fabulous and I keep that beside me all the time and think of Debbie quite often one of my lovely colleagues so now I need my Marina Mist ink and what I'm doing is squeezing some of it into the pad. Now I don't know how this is going to work because I made a bit of a schoolboy error earlier on when I was stamping with early espresso and I put after that I put my um, stamp, well it still had some early espresso and I put it into my Medina Mist so I'm not sure how this is going to come out but I'm just going to go with it anyway. So I've just put some of this on and I'm just going to do a wash. I'm going to squeeze some more out because uh, it's not working very well today for me, is it? Maybe all my, I think maybe all my liquid has evaporated. What we got that we can improve this with? Let's see if this one's any better. Oh, Janice, you're not doing too good at all, are you? Well, I'm just going to have to get a sponge. Solve your problems as you go along, eh? Okay, so <laughs> it's one of those days. Pick up some ink. I think this ink pad is quite dry, so I'll need to get a reinker for that. But I'm just gonna add the colour this way. I thought my Wink Estella method would have worked quite well. I might go over it again when I've got a bit more colour in here. But it wasn't wet enough. But I do have an aqua painter so I could lay down a bit more water on it maybe. That might work better. Let's see if we can... Some things you win and some things you don't. I think we'll be okay in the end. So we're just... I put some of the colour in with the sponge. I don't want to do the whole thing. I just want a bit of a streaky effect to the background. Which is just as well because that's what we're getting here. But you get the drift. 
I'm sure when it's dry it'll look hundreds better than it does now but by using the Wink of Stella I am adding in a bit of sparkle in here and keeping it lighter to the outsides and obviously this is needs to dry but what if you see what I'm doing here and then I'll just dab with my bit of sponge because that just takes any paint that wants to lie on the white you can see that's better now and this is just normal whisper white so it is wrinkling a wee bit because of me putting water on it you could use um, the shimmer paper we have some whisper white shimmer paper which is really good or you could use water color paper but then that's not quite as easy to heat emboss on again you know I'm just taking my time here I think I've managed that so another way to use your old wink of Stella obviously the vodka I had put in <laughs> it's dried up I really need to buy some surgical spirit or rubbing alcohol or whatever you call it but hey there we go. What do you think? You can read that okay. So, put my ink away. I think I've done everything that I'm going to stamp here. So, I've, I've got that a wee blast with the heat tool as well because it is pretty wet. I'm going to just turn your volume down a bit. When you're doing this you can just set that aside and let it dry before you assemble your card. Mm. You see by the, what I mean the heat as it straightens out as it dries out. That's probably enough. Just now, just flatten it down a bit. So I'm going to use fast fuse on this simply because fast fuse will hold it in place because it's pretty pretty firm. Fast fuse is a bit like a firm parent. It's quite insistent that you do what it wants. So it does keep the paper. The only thing is I have to be careful and line up because there's no second chances with it. There we go. So I've just got to quickly assemble up what we're doing here. So what I've got is, a str I've stamped and cut out the straw here, I want a little bit of whisper white on the, whisper white on the back there, just so I can stick the straw onto that, a little bit here, and I'm going to just catch that there. What did I forget to do? I forgot, I've still got to die cut out the top for this. And I've got a, this is probably iced coffee, but there's still a sleeve going on here. Will it be a frappy? This. Okay, I've got to die cut this, and I did keep the die cut here. So, the vellum top there, not quite sure how I'm going to um, glue that down, but <coughs> <coughs> oh, this cold is driving me crazy. It must be driving you crazy too, listening to me whining about it and coughing and spluttering and sniffing. And you know, when it's anyone else, it irritates the life out of me. To 
just as well you can't see the state of me. My red nose, my hair everywhere. I'm just doing a day indoors and catching up with the filming. I'm just going to pop this through the big shot. Just hang on. Do you know, I've been feeling so miserable and I was just thinking, can I be bothered to film again and show you what, what I've been making up? What I'm doing at the moment is filming ahead for the rest of the week. I'm doing everything else on, everything on the one day. Um, it's Sunday and I've been whining about this cold as you, I'm doing it again. And I was, will I film this last one or will I not? Will I leave it? When a message came through from one of my subscribers saying how much she loves my 